Hi guys and welcome back. This is yet another patron voted for video. This one is for Jason Van Lent, who uh, as a, an early subscriber over on my Patreon page, uh, decided that he would like to have In Hiding. So thanks for requesting this one, Jason. Um, I didn't know this one and now I love it. It's absolutely amazing. Stone's guitar work on it in, in particular is brilliant. Uh, I'm going to teach you the whole thing. So it's going to be the solos and the noodly bits uh, Mike and Stone generally play the same stuff on this, but uh, where there's slight variance, I will tell you. So this is going to be a complete lesson. Um, again, if anyone else wants to come over and join us at Patreon, please do. I'll put some links up here and down here so you can um, find them and uh, come and check it out. Um, but basically, it means you can, uh, you too can have shout outs and learn lessons that you want to learn. And um, the tab will be up over there as well, so um, so it's all pretty exciting stuff. Anyway, this is a beauty. I am going to uh, be using a very slightly distorted tone. I'm just using my OCD pedal with the drive turned right down. So it sounds like this. Okay, and I'm going to be playing Mike's parts on the same guitar because his, uh, his guitar tone doesn't vary that much to stones, to be perfectly honest, on this track. So, intro riff goes like this. And then you're into the verse part. Uh, okay, so that is... Um, deceptively simple to play as well but it sounds awesome so you're playing a partial um, a partial A chord just from the seventh fret there but you're including the open A string so it's and there's a sus fourth put in there for good measure which they do a lot of uh, which means you're just adding your pinky finger uh, to the G string on the seventh fret so it's so like this. Okay, then you're gonna move these two fingers up. So you've got the D string open. And then you've got the seventh and the eighth fret there. And that is on the uh, G and B string. A uh, bit like um, once. But you're using your, um, well I use my third and my pinky uh, just because it's easier going from that chord shape so and that rhythm is and then I'm moving my little finger back one fret same string and then you repeat it round live he sometimes puts in a little bit of variance in the rhythm like this Okay, so you're just adding some more 16th notes in there, so... Etc, but do what you want there. Uh, but on the album, it's just this. And so you play that round, I think it's about four times. The last time, you're going to play this. Okay, so one, two, three, four... And then you start with exactly the same chord, or part of a chord. Um, but what you'll do is move from playing with your third and your fourth finger to um, drag your, uh, your first finger so it bars those notes. Because the next bit of the verse goes... So you're going to need those fingers. Okay, okay so the, for the first part of the riff you play this. second part you play um, so let's run through that bit slowly that chord uh, is just so open D and those two notes there on the G and the B string 7th fret 
little ascending line. Then you're going to do a D shaped chord but with the little pinky added so that's sus fourth again. And then back to the D. Okay, so that's slowly. Next time round, he mixes it up a little bit. Okay, so that chord, when you, so the first part's the same. Next bit goes. But you'll also hear a little run in there. So chords alone, that second part is like this. Two, three, four. Those are the chords, but there is a little run in there. So I think in the second part of that verse, Mike plays. Or you could even play. Uh, but I don't think he does. I think he stays the same place that Stone's playing. Um, but Stone does the rundown. The reason I think that is because when the solo is being played, this set, this is played behind the solo and you still hear that rundown. So that must be Stone's part. Okay, so that second part again with the rundown this time is two, three, four. <laughs> Okay, so I'll do that slowly. Two, three, four. Okay, that again slowly. That might be a bit tricky, um, but I'll show you what my my fingers are doing. Um, you're starting off with that shape, the D shape with your uh, little finger added. And then what you've got to do is move these two fingers around. So you need to move this one down to where this one is, and this one goes back to the uh, fifth fret on the E string. And then back. So you need to be able to do that movement. So from a D shape, which you must know. So just practice that. Uh, and all will be well. So, assuming you've got that down, you're going to play this. And at that point, after the second time you go to this, this shape, you're going to pluck the note that your uh, third finger's already on and do a little rundown. So you abandon the chords at that point, okay? And that rundown is just 8, 5, 7, 7, 8, fifth fret on the E, and then you come down to the uh, G string and play the seventh fret. Okay, so the next riff is this. Okay, so that is the riff. Slowly, we're going to start with the open D and our two fingers here. You can just do the open D if you want to do. Uh, but I play the, those extra, that extra one note. Sounds nice, and it's. Um, I think you leave the D ringing out as well. So that is. There's a grace note from the seventh fret to the eighth fret, which is a, a very quick hammer on. Okay, so. So that's the first bit. Next part is. 
which is the fifth fret on the G string. Play that again. And then this. Then you're going to need to move positions, okay? So the second time is. And I move my second finger down to the fourth fret on the G string there. Uh, and this chord is E minor basically. Okay, and then you're going to do another sus, um, a D sus fourth. Like that. Okay, so that slowly is. Okay, and there's lots of feel in that, so ring out notes where you can. Um, oh yeah, so there's a little bit of variance there. Sometimes I hear uh, Mike play, or yeah, I think it might be Mike that does this bit. Uh, when you move down to the... I think I hear him play this. Okay, so I think Stone plays. And Mike plays. So feel free to pick one. Uh, but I do hear that subtle difference. Okay, right, so from here... I think it goes around the verse again. Um, the next time round, uh, when you arrive at this bit, there's a chord run up, um, which starts on the D. So you're gonna stay on the D, um, which goes like this. There's a little build up into the How good is that riff? Love playing that. Um anyway, uh where was I? Yeah, D chord. So second time round when you come to this D chord. Uh the run-up goes like this, D for one bar. Then you're gonna, it's all on D, so the uh, root note's always D with these chords. Then you're gonna go up and play a uh, sort of little mini power chord, really. Fifth fret, seventh fret on the uh, G and B string. Then you're gonna play the eighth fret down to the seventh. Okay, so that again. Next bit, you move up to the 10th fret position. And then you're gonna move up, it's part a partial D chord basically, for that last bit. So, that in its entirety. Why is everyone reversing in my street today? Not easy. Right, okay, let's do that through slowly. times it does that but it does it some amount of times I think it's just a bar okay so the riff of awesomeness is thus Amazing. I could literally play that for an hour. Um, note there's a little um, E note in there, so it starts on the A string. And there's a run down, so you're kind of moving your fingers to what would be uh, a D inversion, so like the Better Man chord basically. Uh, 
but you're also going to play the G in there as well. So you don't need uh, anything other than your first finger on the uh, G string, second fret. The uh, uh, D string is open and the A string is muted uh, because your finger is at an angle that it will mute that naturally. Okay, so you should hear that. So you play the it's very loose, but I'm going to try and explain it as best I can. So you play the root note, make sure that sounds out. So it's about, it's like... But you want to make sure you're getting in the D string and the um, uh, G string there as well, okay? And then into that riff. And I think the E note comes in like this. Okay, so that through. So slowly that's this. The uh, over that you'll also hear Mike play a little riff which goes like this. I don't have a whammy bar, but he does have, he uses whammy on that part. Um, so that comes in at this point. So if I try and play them both together, you'll hear. Stone hits the F. Um, so um, let me actually play the both of those for you uh, so you can hear how that sounds. Go! <laughs> Pretty awesome stuff. I love that little noodly bit that he puts in there. Um, anyway, the end of that riff goes like this. And then you're into the chorus. So it's just an E chord. Let ring out. Then you're going to go back to the first riff. Like that. That is the chorus riff. And that slowly is really simple. It's just the... Um... So you're adding your little finger on that last note. Then you're going to go to your D chord that we played at the beginning. Uh, and again, you're sliding down your finger from the eighth note to the seventh. Uh, then I think there's a solo, so. Stone plays that part, Mike plays... Okay, so slowly it goes like this. Straightforward enough. Um, it's just a straight run down first time. Grace note slide. 
It's another slide from the eighth to the seventh. Second time round. Um, not much different really, it's just slight variation in the phrasing, so the first bit's the same. Slide there. And then there's a little fill at the end. When it goes into the verse, on the first beat I also hear this. So when Stone's playing two, three, four. Mike plays two, three, four. There's some noodly stuff that Mike plays at the end. Feel free to play about in that, but I hope you enjoyed that. Um, I know I did. Jason, I hope that you enjoyed that as well, and I hope it's clarified the bits that you needed clarifying. Um, thanks again, mate, for subscribing. I massively appreciate it. It helps me keep doing uh, what I'm doing. So, um, yeah, that's it from me. See you on another one. Cheers. Bye-bye.